Okay, Park. Famous movie quotes. Here's looking at you, kid. Kindergarten cop. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Dice rules. Oh, no! Some kind of egg planted in me that's going to burst through my chest! Look who's talking. Luke, I am your father. May the force be with you. We are at war among the stars. Oh, Park, you watch too much TV. Thanks. Mondo Video. I don't get it. To me, it's just an after-school job. But to my dad, it's everything. Mother Teresa was put on Earth to spread love. My dad thinks he was put here to be kind and rewind. Hi, good to see you. Excellent choice. Hey, free cartoon rental with every endangered species documentary. Oh, Larry, I found that copy of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Should have it for you in a couple of days. Dad's more than a faithful husband, loving father, and classical film buff. He's also our very own weekly in-store special. Oh, hello, Miss Musso. Diner. Oh, you're renting Citizen Kane. An American classic, unraveling the mystery of a dying man's last word. Rosebud. And what a shock it is to find out at the end that it's just his sled. Well, enjoy. I'm telling you, man, it's a miracle we made the guest list. Somerville's rented a bigger beach house than last year. Live band, bathing suits required. Think of it, a beach party. It's like dating in your underwear. I know. And he's dragging me off on bikini selection detail. And why do we guys put up with it? Hey, don't hog the new label master. Leave a few for the old man. <laughs> I love this label master. It's just one of the things I love about this business. Controlling everything right down to the little details. There's nothing like owning your own business. Why does every dad assume his son wants to take over the family business? Now, if he were Hugh Hefner or Nolan Ryan... Think about it. Building up a business from nothing until it's running on cruise control. I can't imagine doing anything else. Can you? Parker, could you give me a hand? Uh, Dad. This whole idea about me taking over the store. Park, I need you a sec. Hon, you know how strongly I believe in communication between parents and children and how I always encourage openness and honesty. Well, in the case of your father, shut up and lie. He has a lot on his mind. It's a bad time. Diamond, CEO of Powder Cake Video Inc. Over 200 locations strong and still growing. Yeah, like a fungus. I'd like to personally welcome you to Santa Domingo's newest state-of-the-art video emporium. Forget those second-rate we've run out of your favorite action film stores. Come to Powder Cake, where we give a van damn. This jerk's problem is he underestimates the resiliency of family-run businesses. Families stand together. One heart, one purpose. Check out the cool freebies. <sighs> she gets more precious every day. Hey, Dad, any chance I can get out early today? Annie needs me to help her make, uh, an informed sportswear decision. Yeah, I guess everything seems under control. Hey, everybody! That new powder cake store's got a three-for-one offer and a no-rewind policy. Come on! It's a run on powder cake. You have to listen to me. You can't go. Now listen. Now listen to me. I, I beg of you not to do this thing. I beg you not to do this. Don't you see what's happening? Powder cake's only lowering their prices to lure you in. To get your memberships. If I can get out in one piece, I'll get to see Annie in a two-piece. 
But they got three for one over there. I mean, why should we rent here? Annie's waiting. Must make it out that door. Because Mondo Video has always been here for you. I've always been here for you. And my family has too. Damn. Larry, remember the time I fast-forwarded through the frugal gourmet video just so you could get to his recipe for bulk chili? Mm. Joe, you had one of those Potter houses, didn't you? Well, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten what he charged you for that broken-down shack? Grace, you were desperate to own the Barbarian Brothers, and I had the last copy flown in from Portland. Save my Memorial Day weekend. Here, Ed, you know, you remember last year when things weren't going so well and you couldn't make your payments? And Jerry... How about the time I got you that Playmates and Geosynchronous Orbit video that you didn't want your mom to know about? Uh, we, we, We've we, got we, to stick, stick together, together, people. Because once Powder Cake owns your memberships, they've got you where they want you. It'll mean the end of the family business, of family values. It'll mean the end of Mondo Video. Your neighborhood store. That's right, your store. And yours, and yours, and yours. Well, maybe he's right. Make good point. Then you can match Powder Keg's offer? Well, that would be asking a lot. Dad, maybe we should close up the shop, get a good night's sleep, and regroup in the morning. Sorry, Park. We've got to get right to work. Powder Keg's thrown down the gauntlet. They may be a nationwide chain. But if this family stands tough, there isn't anything we can't do. Come on, son. We've got a war to win. I guess Annie can wait until later. That's right, a free box of milk does with every Christian Slater rental. Week one of Dad's war against powder keg, and so far the only casualty has been my social life. I wish you'd been there. I must have tried on a hundred swimsuits. The things they consider swimwear, like dental floss. I went with this. It'll have to do. Did you ask your dad if you could go to Somerville's party? Not yet. He's pretty stressed about this whole powder keg deal. I've got to pick my shots. Oh, hello again, Miss Musso. Oh, no, Steiner. You can't ruin the end of this movie. It's a James Bond, and everyone knows they all end the same. James Bond saves the world, gets the girl, so there on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Mm -hmm. That's where Bond saves the world, marries the girl, only to have her machine gun down in his arms. Brutal. Well, enjoy. Good luck. I've been a good son, worked hard. I just want one night off. That's a reasonable request. They'll understand. We're all working our butts off, and sales are still down 27%. They won't understand. It's an unreasonable request. I'm totally boned. Well, we've got no choice. We'll have to start staying open 24 hours a day. I know it's a desperate move, but these are desperate times. Did you want something? Yes. The first shift. There you have it. I'll be working on the chain gang while everyone else will be living a Mountain Dew commercial. So Mondo Video staying open 24 hours. If Dad's store is going to survive, the key to its success is simple. It'll take hard work, perseverance, frosted donuts, and coffee. Lots of coffee. Hey, Park, how about some coffee? You want some coffee? Dad, time to go home. You need some sleep. Hey, now that is one brilliant idea. Time to hit the sack. Knead the pillow. Saw some wood. Get some Z's. Pick it up tomorrow where I left off. Maybe around 7.30, maybe 8. 8.25 tops, but not 9. No, 9's no good. Technically, that would be sleeping in. And I don't deserve to sleep in until I've driven powder keg out of town. Yeah, I'm fighting the good fight here. Giving it my all for the ones I love, like you and Shelley and Bogey and Bacall and all those classic movies no one's ever going to see again unless I take a stand. And speaking of stands, I should stop at a donut stand for a jelly fill and a morning paper and a sock big enough to stuff in my mouth and shut me the hell up. Good night, Dad. Hi, hon. 
Son, how about heading home for some breakfast? Hey, that is one brilliant idea. Time to grab some grub, pound down some flapjacks, say hello to Mr. McMuffin, and breakfast isn't complete until you Lego my ego and hand me a cup of joe, a mug of mud, a jug of java. <laughs> Day 10 of our war against Powder Keg, and Dad's decided it's time to go behind enemy lines. Look at this place. These big chains don't care about the American cinema. All they care about is pandering to the lowest common denominator. High volume is their business, not movies. Watch this. Uh, hi, welcome to Powder Keg. Uh, could you recommend a video, a family film, something light and entertaining, yet morally uplifting? How about Death Squad 3? You consider that morally uplifting? Well, like the bad guys bite it in an acid bath, if that's what you mean. I liked it. Watch and learn. Tell me. How can you work in a video store and know nothing about movies, the art form of the 20th century? I mean, where are customers supposed to turn for advice? This is a crime. Excuse me. Aren't you the small, uncommonly persistent local merchant who's waging a valiant war against the powder keg empire? Uh-oh. Yeah, and I meant every word I said. I bet you did. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Phil Diamond, CEO, Powder Keg Video Inc. Oh, no. You're not going to have me hauled away now, are you? That would be counterproductive. And what's more, it wouldn't be nice. No, you've got passion for what you do, sir. Passion and guts. Big, meaty, passionate guts. And those are the kind of guts we like here at Powder Cake Video, Inc. Uh, thanks. Look, I'm a cut to the chase, tell it like it is, hand me the pen so I can ink it kind of guy. I look at you, I see a wise man nibbling at my heels. But I've got no use for nibblers, unless they're on my team. So here's my prop. Close up shop at Mondo, come to work for me. Manage this store. Interested? Wait a second. More money, less work? Sounds like a natural. I'm not interested. Unless your dad happens to be that Jimmy Stewart guy. No, I run a small, family-owned business. It's more than a business. It's a legacy. We're talking a 30K raise first year. Yeah? Well, uh, yeah? More money? You betcha. Go for it. Take the job. Don't forget. In a year, I get my license, and we all know how expensive an imported turbocharged convertible can be. Don't rush into anything, hon. This is a big decision. Think about what you're giving up. You're right. Sure, it's a good offer, but it would mean closing Mondo. And what happens if someday Parker decides he wants a store, like Mondo Video, handed down to him? It wouldn't be fair. Right, Park? Okay. You know Powder Cake's the smart move, but you've got to humor Dad. Smile. Nod. Agree. I don't want to take over the store. I never did. Really? Huh. You're sure? I mean, you've thought about this? I've been trying to tell you for a long time, Dad. I'm sorry. But you bust your butt around here. This will mean less work and more money. It's better for you. Don't take it personally, hon. Parker doesn't know what he wants right now. He might change his mind. No, it's okay. There's, there's no reason to hang on to Mondo if Parker doesn't want it. Just move on. Close up and go work for Powder Cake. I'll go call Phil. I see a beamer in my future. dad. Overnight he's gone from owner to trainee, but I know he's made the right decision for all of us, hasn't he? Consider this store Casa de Marty. As manager, you have complete autonomy with just a handful of crippling restrictions. That initial powder keg employee customer contact is critical. 
Okay, Martha, give it a whirl. Hi, welcome to Powder Keg, where you can take home Swayze today. Good, but you gotta hit the pow. It's Powder Keg. Powder Keg. Bigger. Pow, pow, powder keg. Pow, 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 pow. 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 Good, good. You're quick steady, Marty. Take wing. Parker, what are you doing here? I thought you had a party to go to. Oh, I just stopped by to pick up the keys to Mondo. Oh. I wanted to grab a camcorder for the party. Thanks. So, how's it going with training and everything? Oh, it's great, it's great. It's great. Yeah, they do things a bit differently here, but it's just a matter of learning the ropes, uh, coming up to speed, finding my compass, getting my feet wet. Hi, welcome to Powder Keg, where you can take home Swayze today. No, Jimmy Stewart is an actor. Come on, Jared, it's a beach party. Everybody's gonna be in the water. Not me, sir. It's a well-documented fact. Great whites are night feeders. Stay on the beach. With the sand mites? Nothing. You sure, man? I'm fine. I've just got a lot on my mind. I know what it is, too. Guilt. Who'd have believed it? My own son. A lazy, good-for-nothing traitor. Right. I build up the business with my own sweat and blood, and what do I get in return? Thwack! Right between the shoulder blades. I have no son. <laughs> Are you okay, sir? You look as pale as... as me. Listen, you guys go on ahead. There's something I gotta do. <sighs> Welcome to Powder Hell. Death Squad down under. No, they never have Willy Wonka here. Coop just picked it up at Mondo Video. Mondo Video? Hey, Charlene, mind the store. Take wing. Mark, what's going on? I reopened the store. By yourself? You turned on the sign? Restocked the shelves? Even made coffee? Yeah. You want a cup? On second thought. <laughs> Watch and learn. Parker, what's all this about? I just wanted to see you behind this counter. Feels good, doesn't it? You can't tell me you don't belong here. It's a nice idea, Parker, and it would be great if things worked out like that, but uh, that's the real world out there, and I have to think about what's best for my family. I better get back. You know what your problem is, Marty? You're selfish. All you ever think about is being the big family provider. Well, we need more than that. We need you to be happy, Marty. That's what Parker's trying to tell you. And do you know what he gave up to do it? A party. And not just any party. A beach party filled with girls leaping around in skimpy swimsuits, dancing with wild abandon, casting all of their inhibitions into the chilly, moonlit night. He gave it all up for you. And what about Shelly? She wants you here, too. Dad, please, come back and I'm prepared to give up my dream of owning a convertible. Although, I have structured a leasing program to fit your budget. Dad, I get it now. I thought you and Mondo were two separate things. I was wrong. Marty, 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 I stopped by the store. You're a no-show. Bad form. Why don't you put a bullet in the head of this rundown mom and pop stand and take a giant powder keg leap into the 21st century? Come on, Marty, let's get pow, pow, powing. Don't tempt me. Marty, 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 you are cordially invited to return to your senses. No. My family isn't happy unless I'm working here. So that's what I want. I'm through with powder keg. Well... Color me red in the face. Fortunately, I'm the kind of guy who can respect a man with an I've got to be his own boss attitude. It makes me proud to know you. It's a shame we'll eventually crush you like a ranch fresh egg under an 18 wheeler. Phil, 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 don't be so sure. 
I may just turn out to be that David and Goliath, underdog wins out. Little guy gives a fat cat a licking he'll never forget kind of guy. Touche. Shelly, get those tapes rewound ASAP. Parker, get a Bogart movie up on the monitor pronto. Honey, boot the computer and plot a course for the neutral zone. <laughs> Don't push it, hon. Enough. I'm renting Psycho, not one word about the ending. Oh, forget the ending. I just can't believe Janet Lee dies in the first 20 minutes. <laughs> I'll read a book. <laughs> well, I did my part. I'm out of here. Did you stock the late returns? I'll do that tomorrow. Now. You heard him. What is this? My two dads? <laughs> That better be decaf. Hey, no freebies, Park. No, Dad, I was just thinking. If we buy these candy bars for a quarter and sell them for 50 cents, that means that 25 cents pays for electricity, clothes, food, everything. What happens if people all of a sudden don't like candy bars or stop writing our movies? Welcome to retail. Listen to me. I sound like I actually care about rewinding. Oh well, a few years and I'll be off to college. No more rewinding or restocking. No more early morning inventory. And no more Saturday nights stuck behind a counter with my dad. You think he'll let me work holidays? By your command, my emperor. That's easy, Star Wars. Aha! Return of the Jedi. Impressive. Most impressive. <laughs> Wednesday, after an all-new 90210, it's an hour of great comedy and music with Rock the Vote. Featuring appearances by Tom Cruise, Madonna, Jason Priestley, U2, Robin Williams, and many more. Rock the Vote, Wednesday. And this Thursday, see how the Simpsons spent their summer vacation. While Homer and Marge had a holiday at home, Bart and Lisa didn't just go to camp, they took it over on The Simpsons season premiere Thursday. Now stay tuned for In Living Color. Mr. Lewis? Mr. Randall? Mr. Phillips? Hello?